Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. My name is Lydia Esmer. And my name is Louise Strang. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. The first poem is entitled Joy of Being by Vera Jaar. To emerge, to love, to laugh, oh how joyful. To be free, to grow in faith, oh how blissful. To morph in spirit, to emerge anew. The Inner Room by Lydia Esmer. There is a place, a quiet place, that I have set aside, a haven from the world of care and the din outside, an inner room obscured from view, hidden deep inside, where nothing can destroy the peace when I with him abide. A modest table humbly spread in a candle glow is where my guest will take his place, his blessing to bestow. The silence broken by his knock, my dearest friend will enter, only when I free the lock and bid him in my shelter. With nail-scarred hands the bread he breaks, and wine in goblets poured, I am seated by my Lord to drink his every word. Our repast, repast spent, I haste to bring a spray of lavish bloom, to lay before his pierced feet, while fragrance fills the room. Then by his side I humbly kneel, my head upon his breast. His healing touch consoles my tears and puts my fears to rest. When I awaken, he is gone. The sovereign guest of mine has left the room that was prepared for us to meet and dine. With great reluctance do I leave the sanctum of my soul in search of those whose broken hearts he can and will make whole. But one remembrance of the times I spend in inner peace remains with me wherever I go and shall not soon decrease. An ampule of that fragrance is from my heart outpoured to make this world a better place for us and for our Lord. When You Write by Sandy Coomer Borrow the words from the apples rotting in the barrel, barrel behind the blue shed. For they have traveled the path from soil to seedling, blossom to fruit, and back again. They offer something honest, something warm in fermenting flesh, the brown and breathless heart. Or take the words from nubby folds and ridges of hickory bark, or the rounded surface of an acorn or the black husk of a walnut, what's left after a week of rain. See what you can find in the butterfly wing carried on the back of three army ants, or the cone left after the yellow petals fall from the black-eyed Susan, or the dry grasses scrambled beside the highway, or better yet, try the fallen log with the white lichen and silken moss or the stagnant bottom of the riverbed mud slick and life weary. Surprise yourself at the compost pile where lingering green slowly sinks into a rich black brown. There is truth in what's left when color fades and insight in the bare and perishable beauty of the earth. Take the words from the ground up and go from there, but don't clean them. Leave the tangles, keep the knots, the smell of that wild, dark promise of death. Leave the wounds, leave the dirt, so you'll never forget where you found them. Good Day by S. R. Lee. Today, bright with daffodils and cookies, banish jackets, coats, and scarves. Grass can grow and blossoms bloom, sky bright, land strong. Tree straight day. Dogs bark, rush about, cats pounce, babies toddle, oldsters stroll. Clouds dash swift across the sky. Yellow bud, wavy branch, frog croak day. People choose to be outside. Tromp the golf course, sidewalk, park path. Trails through force, call, entice. Such temptation satisfactions. Leg jog, ball throw, hike far day. 
dandelions begin to peak. Pear trees push their bids outside. Underbrush turns green or prickly. Old dried grass blades just subside. All my great ideas gain strength. Sing song, poem make, scene sketch day. Warmth of springtime sun increases. Light beams down, muscles strain in outdoor action. Brains relax to spring's enticements. Single day of brighter light gives us lots of cheerful moods. Promise made, dreamer led, athlete joy day. We could practice harsher thinking, think that cold returns next week. No, we just prance in the sunlight, live in present time. Three cheers, good day, good day, good day. Okay, Spring Rain by Louise Strang. Spotlights of sunshine sweep through animated clouds, fluffing along in high-spirited tempo, rising on unseen currents. Suddenly a symphony descends, musical showers with sprinkles of flutes, shadowed by timpani, until thunder cracks the shell of beauty and rouses life to wake. A chorus of birds replies as the last drops of rain fall like syncopated dancing taps, lightly on a triangle. Spring by Nathraja J.R. As the white winters melt into spring, my cold heart melts with your words of warmth. As the tulips bloom, so does my love for you. Spring brings new life, and with it, new chances. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon.